How are you doing this morning? How does it feel waking up as the holder of the cherished green jersey? Yeah, uh, I don't know. Uh, it, it, I don't know. It feels like it didn't happen. Um, I just, yeah, I can't believe it. I presume you had a pretty good night last night, did you? Um, no, it was quite one. Um, like with the with all the the COVID nineteen oh, yeah. now, sorry, I, of course, we, we, yeah, <laughs> we we can't do uh, anything. So, um, but no, I was just um, enjoying the moment, um, just replaying it because uh, it's just. Um, yeah, it's something I, I watched through yeah, my teenage years and something that I always like dreamt about doing and to, to actually actually see myself doing it. So it was, it was nice to be able to, to step back and kind of take it all in. I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure it was really nice. Uh, you say this is something you always uh, dreamed about doing. When did you think, you know what, actually, I'm good enough. I, I just might be able to do this. Did you go into the tour with the green jersey in mind or was it kind of as the tour progressed you, when you, won, you had your first stage victory that you kind of realised I'm in the hunt for this? Um, I think when like I was getting success in other Grand Tours I thought okay now I, I, I really want to try and take this to the next level and, and go to Tour de France and uh, try and try and get the stage win there and um, I, I, I kind of felt that was possible and and then the first one came, and uh, it was pretty emotional. And uh, I, I, yeah, I was in shock. I couldn't believe it happened. But you know, like the Champs Elysees is, is often regarded as the the, the the World Championships for sprinters, and um, that's something that I didn't know would I ever get because it's it's so highly contested, and um, it's also after three weeks of Tour de France, and and then the green jersey. It it was like. It was like a, I realized uh, when I got it, it was like I realized that a dream that I, I never had, uh, I never knew I had. Yeah. Because yeah. I just, I I never thought it'd be good enough to have the green jersey because it's actually you use so much energy trying to collect points and trying to mark other men. And then you have other guys that are not going for it and then going for the bunch sprints who are fresher then. So then to do the Champs Elysees with the green jersey on my back, um, I, I couldn't have imagined in my wildest dreams that I would be capable of doing that. And um, I really, it was, it was all down to my team as well. Um, they were absolutely fantastic throughout the whole race. 